season greeting so today I will be doing some DIY so if this is your first time welcome welcome my name is Martha the first thing I want to share with you or show you what I'm going to be doing is this right here that I bought from Rose and these blush pink flowers came with a clip you know there's a clip here so these flowers I bought from Walmart so I just want to show you how I'm creating the style that I'm looking for in my Christmas theme that I will be using this is the blush pink so this is just a simple way how you can DIY and just do things the way you want it to be done or get your decor done. You know, you just do things on a budget. So this is it here. So what I will do, I will add this string as well. This here I bought from Dollar Tree store last year. My daughter had it on her Christmas tree in her room. So I will go ahead and just put these in between here. It wouldn't go all the way around and so we have this here so I will go ahead and I will tuck this just behind so you don't have to see the cord so this is behind right behind here so we have this here so that is it and we are ready for the door so this is the final look I am loving this hair so what I did I just add that ring there just a little center there so let me show you it with the small pink balls so what I did I add the, the batteries so let me go ahead switch that on that is the look so this is all I'm looking for I am loving it I am really loving this and this here is for my inside front door this is a side this is what the back is looking like so these read I bought two of them and I bought it to put in my kitchen on the kitchen cupboard doors so I will go ahead and I will add the balls these will go right here so this is the final look and these metal wreath you can find at the family dollar store I am loving this here a simple centerpiece for my dining table I start off by adding some balls you notice and this is just some pieces from a Christmas tree so I will go ahead and I will clip this one right here these flowers here I bought from Hobby Lobby just a few of them I cut the stem they were very long so what I will go ahead and do here now I will just go ahead and just you know me I make things very simple I try my best to do a lot of DIY so you don't have to spend a lot of money and sometimes you just have to use what you have I'm not going to expense myself for the holiday the Christmas come and it goes so we have to remember behind all the decorating and all the color and festivity we have to remember that Jesus is the reason for this holiday season. So we have this going here. We're going to go ahead and these velvet or picks or whatever you want to call it, the price, this is the price here, $1.28. I am loving this. blush pink so we're gonna add this we don't want them to close each other 
So let's go ahead and put this one right along here. You can keep adding balls as much as you want. You can add any decor pieces just to give it that Christmas look. You don't have to tie this because it's not moving. And you can add your pine cones. So guys, this is it. I will show you how it's looking on the table. This is just a simple centerpiece. For me, I love a low, a low, very low centerpiece. You know, when you sit in with your family, you want to chat. So I'll go ahead, put this on the table. So this will be my centerpiece. So this is a finishing look. I am loving this too and how it turned out. Simple. And you know, it was very easy to do. I'm just loving how the blush pink and the cream Christmas flowers, the pine cones, how they all blend in. I am loving my Christmas table centerpiece. This year, I'm showing you here is the the handle for the kitchen cupboards. So we gotta, my husband and I, we gotta take them out today, and we gotta just spray paint them all in gold. So this is what we are using the rustoleum, and this can be used for wood, metal, and more. So we're gonna go ahead and say the metallic gold. I don't think this is a bright gold. I will be using the wood cleaner for wood and other surface. So I will just go ahead and spray along here. But in, in the hole, I have to clean the whole cupboard, but I just wanna clean here before putting on the hardware or you can see the handle. So let's go ahead and clean down that area. You know, all the handprints and holding and all of that. So you just want to go ahead and just want to clean this area before you put back your handle. So around this area is clean. Then I will go ahead and I will wipe the entire cupboard door. So we will start off by just giving this kitchen hardware or I should say the handles for the kitchen cupboard a quick spray and we are using the metallic gold and I hope it's not a bright gold so let's go ahead and see how this works. That's the look I'm getting here. So I will allow it to dry. Leave it out here to dry for a few seconds. Put it on, see how it looks. Spray painting. Cabinet hardware is an affordable way to save on a budget. And I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best to just, you know, stay on that budget. I don't want to spend too much, as I mentioned, for the holidays. So. We're just trying to spray paint and do our own DIY for the before and the after. So this is a Christmas tree in my dining area. So what I'm going to do is take it outdoor. So we're going to just spray this here in some, put on some white snow to see how it will work. This is here. This is the after look. And these are just ways you can do your DIY on the budget. So here I have this bookcase. So what I'm going to do, we want to make, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we want to do a television unit. So instead of building a whole television unit, 
we are going to this is the back side of the bouquet so we are going to spray paint instead of painting and taking up all the time we are going to take all the shelves on the bottom we are going to spray paint using the HDX double coverage and this is a flat white but before I do that I will go ahead and give it a quick wipe using the wood cleaner so guys let's go ahead first and clean this unit before spray painting Gave to me 